Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Game Hub. I am your host, GamerK, and happy April Fools. That's right. It's time to start off my April videos. And what better way to start April off on April Fool's Day than one of the biggest tricksters and one of my favorite characters. We will be reviewing the Funko figurines for another Gamer K's Funko Reviews with the one and only Rumpelstiltskin from Once Upon a Time. So, there he is. And once again, in all my Funko videos, this video is goes a big shout out to MGO316 and his friend Mascot. Keep being awesome. Once again, every time I do a Funko review, I will give credit to them because they are the ones who inspired me to do these Funko reviews. So, keep being awesome. Hope you find my videos. So, really, really hope so. So, let's get into the biggest trickster from Once Upon a Time, Rumpelstiltskin. And I'm going to say this. He was a very rare character to find. I found him last year at my local con, and he was the only one left. So, I decided to grab this, my favorite character, because I would never find him again. So, let's take a quick look at the box. The box, ladies and gentlemen. And let's start with Pop. Once Upon a Time, which is a beautiful show. Beautiful, beautiful show. It's on Netflix, so if you want to watch something cool to watch, watch it. He is number 271. Really nice. Evil grin like that, dearies. <laughs> I love doing his voice and his laugh. My girlfriend thinks it's kind of creepy, but I think she's just saying that because she loves me. That uh, evil grin right there we got. For that pro for that half shot, Rumpelstiltskin, ladies and gentlemen, and not the one. Okay, yeah, kind of the one from those that creepy story, but this one's a lot better. Vinyl figurine, figurine and vinyl, figure del vinyl. Choking hazard may contain small parts. Ages three and up. So who would buy this for a kid? 2015 vaulted, ladies and gentlemen. This one's been vaulted. That's another vaulted one for my collection, which. I love finding the rare ones. I'm a, I'm a collector, so sue me. Uh, on the top, we got that half head shot of him with the word POP, because it's supposed to POP. That's why it's all in capitals with the exclamation mark, POP. Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, <laughs> then we got the half head shot on the bottom, 271, <clears throat> movie intro, Rumpelstiltskin. If they ever make a movie of Rumpelstiltskin and turn it into a horror movie, please shoot people, shoot me. On the bottom, on the side, you got the nice, really nice product shot of Rumpelstiltskin with the wood setting in the background with the kind of monochrome uh, forest. And I just love the design of him. He's 271. He is Rumpelstiltskin. On the bottom, we got all your, all your, uh, uh, warning, Funko.com, uh, Made in China, and all that good stuff. Uh, not for kids under three years old. Seriously, why? And on the back, we got your pretty good obligatory product shot of the Once Upon a Time cast that, uh, for the first section. Rumble still getting looking all evil, sinister, and I love it. And we also got Emma Swan. We got Regina, the evil queen. We got Snow White. We've got Prince, Prince Charming. We got Rumpelstiltskin, and we got Captain Hook right there. Collect the entire line of Once Upon a Time Pop, supersized vinyl figurines. It is an ABC Studios production. Haven't seen that in a long time. So that's... <laughs> fell out of my head. That's it for the box. And let's get this trickster up for his close-up so we can take a look at Rumpelstiltskin, and the face is, it's its treated with a sort of a glitter thing. Uh, it kind of gives it like a rough texture because in the show, he's also called the Dark One or the uh, Crocodile by Captain Hook. If you watch the show, you'll understand why, but I like how in the light, we can see the, the shine on his face because in the show, he is shiny and scaly. I'm not 100% sure why, but let's get a look in that face. That is a gorgeous head sculpt. I like how they half did his eyes to give him that evil, sinister look. And even his eyebrows are just raised up like, yeah, want to make a deal? All magic comes with a price. <laughs> I love that they did his teeth all yellow like they are in the show. I really love that because it gives it that old kind of creepy 
uh, I don't care about my hygiene look, and I love that. And they even treated his hand with the same uh, gold uh, uh, glitter aesthetic, which I really, let's get a, try to get a closer look on that if we can. There we go. It's, I love that little extra detail that they did there. The grin is just enough, and the hair is wavy and brown, and I just, I loved his hairstyle when he was Rumpelstiltskin, because it made him look kind of homeless, homeless a little bit, and kind of uh, hermity, but I love that they did that, because it gave him a little bit of an extra creep factor. And let's get in on his clothing, which I love. I love, love, love his outfit in the show in, when he's Rumpelstiltskin. Because it kind of gives you that really old age, uh, European, kind of high class, uh, a high society look. Because if we get in, if we can, if this camera can zoom in a little bit, get clear, we can see the little fluffy cuffs there. And the, just the, and we can even see the buttons there and... So beautifully done, and I love how it how it's all leather. Uh, his jacket, really loved the uh, and the buttons and the shirt and just everything about it. And we get a little bit of orange there for a little extra detailing, and I I really love that. I love the color of the suit and just how it looks so high class. And he's so so evil, and I like how they even got the detail in the back, like the little. Uh, hood, I believe he has a hood. They get, did that even though they didn't put it over him. And you can see the little buttons on the back of the of the jacket, which I, again, I love all the extra details they put into this. It really makes him fit. And then for the pants, we got the obvious, oh, it's basic black. But on the boots, we get to see the zipper, uh, zippers, I think. I think those are zippers. Um, yeah, those are zippers. Uh, I can't, I can't have, uh, there we go. That's a little bit extra, um detailing right there and I love how it's just done a little aesthetically for that and I'm sorry if the camera can't really zoom in all that much or get clear okay there we go it's it's, it's better than what I can get it and then we got his dagger that he always has because the dagger is very important and one if we can, if I can get this camera to blunt to um let's see Let's see. Let's see if I can move it up here, and maybe if that will improve. Okay, it's not improving. Okay. Ah, uh, boy. Oh, there we go. There we go. It says Rumpelstiltskin right on the tip of the dag, right on the dagger, and I love. Once again, anytime uh, a company goes above and beyond to put in these little little details, I friggin' love it because. A lot of fans would, would say, why doesn't the dagger say Rumpelstiltskin? They just, and is it on the other side? Is it on the other side? Uh, no, it's only on the front of it. And I love the detail in the dagger. I like how it's, they did the black handle, how they have it, have him gripping it like that. And the, the little jagged uh, edge of it, like the little zigzaggy uh, of the dagger, it gives it a little bit more character than just being a straight dagger. And the, I like how they went in there and put the whole name on there. That little extra detail is what makes me love this figurine so much. And just, also because he's my favorite character, possibly my favorite trickster, and also my favorite villain turned hero that I've ever seen in a TV show. And I friggin' love Rumpelstiltskin, even though he's kind of, he's very mischievous in the show, and he ends up hurting a lot of people he cares for for his own sake. But in the end, he always does good, and I love that, okay? Okay, I, I, I'm going to try to get this. There we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was Gamer K's Funko Review of Rumpelstiltskin. And thank you for joining in. Like, comment, subscribe down below. And this is only the beginning in April, ladies and gentlemen. It's only the beginning. I had to open April with this guy because April Fools, I needed the big, my favorite trickster. Now, let me just check my list to see what we'll be doing next week for this month. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be something that I've been meaning to do for a while, but I haven't really gotten down to it. Here we... Ah, here we go. Coming up next week, it's another Power Rangers review. Well, kind of, not review, but more Sentai to Power Rangers ideas. 
And because of the decision Hasbro went with, this one, I had better put my soul into this. And because I'm real so cool. For those of you who know what I'm talking about, you'll have to wait for next week, ladies and gentlemen. So, once again, Rumpelstiltskin, happy April Fools. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Give me other ideas for other fi for other movie, uh, no, not movie, game DLC reviews. This is Gamer K, logging out.